What is going on to you, Gemini? So you have the Page of Swords, the Queen of Wands, and then you, Geminis, also have the Page of Pentacles. So the situation for you, Geminis, is that a lot of you, Geminis, are essentially letting go of even more things, bad habits that you, Geminis, used to do that you, Geminis, essentially no longer do. Um, because the Page of Pentacles represents you, Geminis, have a better understanding of who you are a little bit more now. And um, what's come, what's come, what comes with that is you, Geminis, want to let go of a lot of other things as well, right? Because as it is that I've said before, but when you decide to become better and you decide that you want to give up on some things to be able to become better, you give up certain things right you give up a lot of different things over the years to become better essentially right you stop hanging out with friends you, you know you stop you, you give up on certain things that you essentially you used to love and at first it's difficult for you to give up on those things and people those habits because you're very much so accustomed to them but at the same time the situation for you is is that you end up willing you end up willingly being able to really do it due to the fact that that's something that you want to do for your own empowerment because these things are essentially holding you back. So this has become, like I said before, a lot more than just like, um, you know, relationship wise. This very much so is about spiritual, a spiritual journey that a lot of you Geminis uh, are having where you're trying to become a one percent better right every day you're trying to get you're, you're trying to become a lot a lot more organized in your life as to what matters and what really doesn't matter at the end of the day and a lot of you gemini's are learning a lot of lessons and what i mean by that is is that some of the things that you're that you used to do that you may have loved you have to learn to let go of like people you know what i mean you have to let go of some of the people that you may have really liked to hang around, maybe even have had a crush on, you know, anything that's essentially really holding you back. And the Queen of Cups and the Eight of Swords right here represents how you Gemini's. So now a lot of things become a lot more clear because you don't really care about a whole lot. And, and in essence, that's what it is that you're supposed to do. And, I, and I've talked about this before right especially with all this political stuff and this is why it is that i stay away from that political garbage and this is not nor will it ever be a political channel because i because me if you ask me and this is my own findings and my own discoveries political politics is garbage politics is garbage because that's exactly what it is it's theory and politics and mumbo jumbo and all this other type of goofy nonsense why because to to go to make sense of what it is i was talking about earlier right is that the politically correct the politically correct idea is that you should care about every single thing but this is how it is that the politically correct individuals who are caught up with that they get got they get they get got due to the fact that they get got due to the fact that they're so worried about caring about everything when that's the when that's the natural antithesis so to speak or that is the natural that goes against actually getting your life together you know why because when you naturally get your life together and you're striving to get your life more together things are going to naturally drop out of importance in your life anyway, because it's about priorities. And a lot of the things like hanging out with BS friends, they're not gonna make a lot of sense to you because what are they doing besides getting you caught up, right? So all those things are gonna naturally end up kind of falling by the wayside out of importance to the point of not being important at all like that. And then what does take the place of importance is the things that are very much so stable, concrete, long-lasting, right? 
and and the bonds that you have with people your friends your family the people that manage to be able to keep up with you you know stuff like that and as a result of that you know what i mean as a result of that that's essentially what what makes sense you know not all this stuff about politics global warming we got to save the world and stop eating meat and all this other type of goofy <laughs> nonsense it's it's what actually makes sense what what is important to you what actually truly makes sense is it your family is it the purpose that you on is it you're learning how to you know get rid and detach yourself from things that don't matter you know what i mean does is that important to you right the minimalism and same thing even when it comes to, for you uh gemini's interacting with other people right when you interact with other people now they have to because this is what it's about they're gonna have to show you gemini's why it is that that they are worthy of you caring because me personally i have this youtube thing i have my family i have other things that i care about i don't really care about a whole lot this is why it is like i said before people sorely mistake they they have an inflated sense of self yet they think i care and it's like not really <laughs> not really i'm not really as involved as you think not really why because again one one of the things that i don't like is wasting of the time like trying to waste my time to get me to care so that you can say oh that's stupid that because because it's like because it's like you wasted your own time idiot trying to weasel your way into being family and then now i'm gonna betray you because you care about me okay stupid i'm gonna go right back to not caring about you again and going right back to caring about what it is that i do care about it's not that big of a deal eventually yeah because why because when you are striving to get better detaching yourself from certain things is a natural occurrence you have to do that anyway right to be able to get your life situated it's about understanding importance of the priorities do you want to you know sit down and watch television all day or do you want to get your, your your stuff situated that comes down to essentially personal choice so I'm saying all that to say that you Geminis are on the spiritual journey really heavy, heavily. And because of that fact, a lot of things and specifically a lot of people, like I said, they're going to have to show you why, right? You should stick around because naturally you're drifting away from some people is the point that I'm making. And the thing is, is that the King of Pentacles, the King of Wands, and the um and the seven of wands speaks to how they're gonna have to actually show you why it is that uh they can keep up in your life and why you should have them around still and communicate with them right because you 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 gemini's are beginning to spend a lot of your time handling your business a lot of your time doing whatever it is that you're doing. You're spending a lot of your time handling said business. So the situation for you, Geminis, is that you don't have all the time in the world to waste, right? Now, some people <clears throat> are gonna naturally show you why it is that they're not, they're not supposed to be in your life. So if you Geminis are worrying about if there's any kind of hyenas, I mean, maybe one or two may end up slipping through the cracks and stuff like this but for the most part a lot of the people in your life right now and you can see it yourselves are beginning to drop out and what i mean by that is that you're beginning to lose <clears throat> connections with them in the first place because even the people that may know me and stuff like this that i see that i get to know or whatever they'll tell me things like oh i haven't seen you in a long time what do I even say to these people? I just say, yeah, you know, I've been around. Yeah, you know, I just been chilling. But I never go into details because these are because these are hood individuals. You dig what I'm saying? What do I even say? I start I started this business here. 
got this. It's not wise. You ripping and running around telling everybody what's going on with you. Stay on the low, right? And, and what do you even say? What what kind of conversations do you have with with people who think like that? You know what I'm saying? It's not even it's not even the ethnicity. It's the mentality. It has nothing to do with eye color and hair texture and skin tone. That has nothing to do with it. It's the mentality. It's like what do I even what do I even say? Oh, I've been doing a lot of studying. I've been doing stocks. Like what do I? You know what I'm saying? Like, what do I even say to that type of stuff? You know what I mean? People from all over the world know me because of, of the YouTube thing. What do I even say? You dig know what I'm saying? So I just don't say anything whatsoever. I, I, I just I just don't say anything too detailed. I'm just like, oh, you know, I'm chilling. You know, I'm in there. I'm chilling. I'm doing all right. I'm doing good. I'm just chilling. And I let people think whatever it is that they want to think. Because I realized that you, like you, Gemini's, you get to a point where you separated yourself so much. It's almost like, it's almost like, like, um, it's almost like you're a different species. Like, it's like, it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's almost like you're, you're like feral in the sense of like, they can't recognize you because they can't, <laughs> you know what I mean? You, they, they, they can't. It's like, they know you. Because they've seen you around, they know you, they're familiar with you, but then they don't act, they're not actually familiar with you because they have to reintroduce themselves and you have to reintroduce yourself, Gemini, because the what how they met you isn't what you want anymore. So the high priestess now in the three of swords represents this is what I'm talking about. They are heartbroken at the fact that it almost seems like they have to show you they is. They, you know what I'm saying? Like they have to actually keep up. And the thing about it is that if they can't keep up, they're gonna get left. You Gemini's are doing the right thing. You know, and I've talked about this before. When I when I make jokes and stuff like this, I have to make a joke. I talk about abandon your friends because come on, like most come on now, most of our friends are not very versatile. Very rarely do people actually study everything. People get linked up on one thing and what they do is they only know how to do that one thing. And they don't have versatility. They're not very good at anything else. They only, they are known for this one thing and that's the extent of this. They only known for Zodiac. They only known for tarot cards. They're only known for this. They're only known for that. That's the only thing that, they're, that they are known for. And that's cool based upon the fact that they're very, they should be very knowledgeable about this, right? They're only hood. They don't know how to make the transition. You dig what I'm saying? So let's clarify the, the hypothesis. So then you have the, um, the five of uh, swords, the five of cups, the transition card, the ace of cups, and then you Gemini's have the queen of pentacles. And what this here represents for you, this represents how a lot of you Gemini's basically, right, with, with these people that you have let go of, romantic connections that you have let go of and stuff like this, right? The Five of Swords and the Five of Cups and the and the transition card speaks to how um, this is something that needs to happen. They don't like it. And some of them, like I said before, they won't even try to actually do anything for themselves. Um, but they will regret the fact that, that you and them can't really hang out anymore, right? So there's a, lot of, there's a lot of goodbyes happening romantically, right? Potential, there's a lot of friends saying goodbye spiritually as well. Two of you are, be, you know, the, you and these people are losing touch because it's not just one person, but it's a it's a it's it's a lot of people. There's this there's a level of goodbyes. There's a level of well, we can't hang out anymore because X, Y, and Z. Right person refuses to keep up. They're not actually going anywhere. There's no there's no there's no drive. It's like they get to a place where it is that they're stuck. So now the situation is that the Ace of Cups. And the Queen of Pentacles now represents how, um, and so because of because of this, 
um, a lot of you Gemini's have to now begin to understand that this is where your friendships begin in that regard because now it's a matter of who are the people that are that are left that can't keep up you know I don't want to go ahead and put too much information out here but one of my siblings just bought a house right like you know what I'm saying like uh, I guess I guess that puts a damper on people saying, "Oh, you know, you're poor and you live in welfare and all that stuff." Shrugs my shoulders. That's pretty much it, though. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. Trying to get the YouTube channel to over 100k. We're at 16,000. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, hit the notification bell, set that notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop my videos.